All right, guys, let's get started. Good morning, everybody. Just going to get the little webcam going on this day. This day. How's everybody doing? All right, great, Donna. Good to see you, John. Look at that. Tim, Robert, Grant, good to see you. Nice to see you, too, Amy. All right. All right, good morning, everybody. So let's get started. What is today? Today is Thursday, and and yesterday was Wednesday. Why do I say that? Because that was hump day, Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. So there was a bunch of stocks that didn't move yesterday. We're going to talk a little bit about it. There's also a nice, pretty decent list that I found this morning, which a lot of us already had started to capitalize on it. You saw how it was on Monday. We'll see how it is on Friday. I'm going to always bring it up again. Beautiful day here in New York. Probably the nicest day. Zero humidity. It's going to be like in the 80s. I mean, the best weather ever. What does that tell me? If this continues till tomorrow, tomorrow might be a little bit slow day because a lot of people are going to want to skip out work this afternoon and start going to their Hamptons homes. What is what it is, but you know what? We always find some good things that do move yes to, uh, tomorrow on Fridays, but today I know they're going to get a lot of action, so we'll have a lot of a lot of stuff going. Yeah, Amy, definitely. Let's go. Uh, it's going to definitely be a beautiful day to go fishing, and don't get me started because I might do that this afternoon, but I, actually I can't because a lot of events I'm doing today. So uh, by the way, big big day. A couple of things, a couple of announcements before we get started. Um, phase two does start today of the lesson, so all the gold platinum students. Diamond students, your classes start today, and then next week, start on Tuesday and Wednesday, you're gonna, uh, we're going to be doing Phase 3, live trading with Fausto. We're going to take everything you learn in Phase 1 and 2, put it to the test, and I'll tell you if you're right and wrong, and we'll see how it all works out. So a lot we have going on for the next couple of days. All right, now a couple of stocks we're gonna, we traded yesterday, so before we get into talking about uh, what's moving this morning, let's just touch upon a couple of them. Uh, CBIO was a nice little mover right there. Uh, that one uh, did did really, really well. The big one that, um, and I'll, I'll talk about the biggest one, but uh, a couple other ones out there, the BILI, for some of you who are not here, that was a great mover, 1390 to 1490. Once again, our trader, that's what we do. TWTR, Twitter, which we all are very familiar with, that one had some good volatility. Once again, you had to be a little more of a brand name uh, trader, but that was a pretty nice little move yesterday. But the big one was the MTSL. A lot of shout outs for this one. 220 all the way to, to, to 360. We'll do a couple of shout outs really quick, give a couple of round of applauses. Um, David made. 97 cents and he made um, 46 cents on 2,000 shares on that. Let's give him a round of applause. Way to go, Dave. Ben made 60 cents. Kathleen made 23 cents. Philippe made 28. Phil made 20. John made 23. Ken made 24. All made money, you know, trading this stock, MTSL. Give you guys all a round of applause. Now, a couple of things, just kind of reiterate just a little bit about these stocks. I, You know, a lot of people always ask me, you know, Fausto, everybody else talks about the Facebooks, the Twitters. Listen, what – and they think you have, and that's the reason why a lot of people go into and they trade, you know, do swing trading because they think they can't afford the stock, or they get into options, or they'll trade forex because, you know, oh, I got 50 times buying power, so I could open up a mini account. Listen, there's a lot of stocks out there. You're here for one reason, one reason only, and I'm gonna keep uh, saying it over and over. You're here to make money. That is it. What you trade is irrelevant. You got bills to pay. You got medical bills to pay. Social Security's not paying enough. Some of us need to make supplemental income, want to spend more time in our family. I'll keep repeating because I hear the same stories every time. Listen, it's you, you find a stock like this one, MTSL, and there's so many of them out there. That's what it's all about. All right, guys? So overall, great day. Now, that is now in the past. Don't go back. Don't cry if you missed it, you lost money, you made money. Today is a brand new day. Kenthal making money, uh, not doing a <laughs> – that's right. And you got. And if you listen, if you hear me joking around once in a while and I say, hey, buy one share of the damn stock. Why? Because you don't want to be a deer in the headlights. So you have to kind of get into the game, guys, all right? Now, a couple of the stocks that are moving this morning, let's get, let's get right to it. Um, 
I'll talk about the little big ones in a little bit uh, that, that I think are actually moving pretty nicely. But SMIT, a lot of you guys already saw this one this morning. Now, I like this stock for a little bit because it's up 41%. Stock is at um, traded 87 million shares. It's got some really nice iceberg orders, orders here in the matrix. You already got a 3,600 share buyer at 3, uh, 330. So you can see that you're breaking all-time highs right here. Nice little stock. I want to keep an eye on it. I just don't like what's going on in the pre uh, in the pre-market. The pre-market, it's kind of flat. All right. Now, a uh, couple other ones. Uh, RKDA. That stock is moving pretty well right there. Nice little good volatility. Stock went to 10, really kind of built some support levels. The reason why I like this stock, uh, you guys remember this back in March. Uh, we traded this stock last year. Stock went from 6 to 65. That is day trading at its best, okay? Now, don't tell me about the swing trading mode because people look at it. Well, why is it back at 680? I don't care what it was at 680 because when we were trading on that day, when it ran from 6 to, to 65, that's all we cared about. And let me tell you, a lot of us did not make 60 points on that trade, but a lot of you did make three, four, five points on that trade. So anyway, the reason why I'm bringing it up is because we know the stock. We traded it. We talked about this in our journals, in our class. Go back, review what we taught you in class. See how you trade the stock, and that will teach you how to trade this one here. So that's the way you have to look at it. So that one's moving pretty nicely. A uh, couple other ones that are moving uh, – the one I like the best right now, which a lot of you guys are trading so far, is the MTSL trade. That stock had a really nice push yesterday. Looks like she's picking up the momentum again. Stock from um, just a couple of days. You saw one from two to six. Looks like that stock's got a little bit of Fausto flag going on right now. This one looks pretty good. We're going to keep an eye on that one. RCO, um, the RCON trade, that one also. Uh, it looks like it backed off a lot. It was up pretty big this morning. Actually checking back it right now. You know, 40, 77,000 shares. You can see there's some big orders on the sell side. So it's probably going to be a push down. I'm not going to scratch this one. May take it off my list. All right. The SNES, a lot of volume in this stock. Look at this thing. Think already traded 200,000 shares. Um, you got some big resistance levels right here, hovering around the buck 70 ish. And you can see it kind of tested it, came right back down. Uh, this stock went from $0.40, 40 cents to about 220 We know the stock can move. I'm uh, going to keep this stock on our watch list of 14%. Now, across the board, you're hearing a lot of people talking about him. I'm just looking at my phone right now because um, I, I, I watch other people, see what they're looking at. Listen, they're talking about eBay, all right? Now, eBay, yeah, all right, listen, eBay didn't do too well yesterday, got really beat up. Is it a good short? From the looks of it, yes. But you know how hard it is to trade eBay? That stock, if, you, if you're not a minimum that you could risk between 500 on 1,000 shares, 500 to $1,000 a day, don't trade eBay, okay? Now, we have a lot of traders here that do that, so it's right up your alley. But if you're not one of our level three traders, stay away from eBay. You get yourself crutch, crushed. CMCSA. That one, um, already a lot of you guys are trading it. This one's a little bit more controllable, but you got to be in the level level two uh, category. But stock is moving pretty decently. Got a nice little push. I know there's also CMCSA, and uh, there's another one, K, which trades side by side with it. Two more stocks. DM, I think it looks like the nicest so far. DM is moving really, really nice. Uh, stock went from 16 and already popped to already 1760. Stock's very, very strong. 37, $32 stock at one point. This one is is got a great push in pre-market. This is what I'm talking about. But level two stock. Why? It's a scalper. Okay. This is one of the five cent spread stocks. Unless I unless you took my scalping class, you cannot trade the stock. It's a very different style of trading. Uh, you got to be careful with those uh, five cent spreads. And then last but not least is PM that I found in pre-market. Took a little bit of a hit. Thought it was a nice little short. What is this stock? Philip Morris. Yes, some people still smoke cigarettes. All right. So Philip Morris, uh, yes, it is an $82 stock. Some of us probably thought it was in the single digits. Fortunately, it's not. Uh, they do, uh, I guess, employ a lot of employees. So stock, it was, uh, was in a $100 range, taking a big hit right now. Just made a little bit of a pop. I'm not going to trade it. I'm not going to trade it. I'm bringing it up because I'm getting just a, a flood of, you know, email, you know, um, uh, alerts on Twitter and YouTube, people looking at this, this, and this. Guys, stick with less risk, more reward stocks. All right, guys? Now, anything I'm missing that I did not um, 
Anything I'm missing, I did not uh, uh, pick out. Uh, Benito saying, Trump just tweeted, I told you so. The European Union just slapped a $5 billion fine on one of the greatest companies, Google. They truly have taken advantage of our U.S., but not for long. Well, listen, once again, you love Trump, you hate Trump, whatever it is. It's irrelevant. You love Obama, you hate Obama. Uh, but we're all in the same party, and that's the trading party. So when you look at uh, when you look at Google, you know you got to look at and see what exactly is that going to do for us. You know, is it is it moving? You know, is it um, does it have the good has, does it have the good volatility? You know, what's happening there? So you got to keep an eye on it. But you know, these little things. Oh, goose! I forgot to talk about goose. Uh, has been a pretty good swing trade. Anything? Anything with IQ? You know what? It was great. You know, we had a last little bit of a run. I probably would stay away from it. Stock is crazy. Stay away from it. eBay is pushing. I know, Ken. And um, you're probably going to get a nice little push in that. But uh, be very careful. I mean, you could trade it, but some of the other traders can't. You get This is a very, very fast-moving stock. You could see it. Look at that. Trade 1.7 million shares ready. All right, guys, listen. Um, I could talk all day, but listen, I'll be back at 12 o'clock. For everyone out there, I am going to be talking about uh, we're doing open house again today at 12. Remember, the whole topic is how to trade and learn in the summer months. So I will see you. Uh, just go on our website. You can register. Please go out there and share the link. Get, let's get everybody in there. And because uh, remember, the more people to learn how to trade, the more people join the team, the easier it's going to make your trading uh, in, in in trading today's volatile markets. And remember, we'll be the first one to tell you trading's not for everyone. So you're better off you know the truth before you go out there and risk $1 because you end up blowing up your account. And that's not what you want to do. Guys, good luck today. Happy trading. Um, just really. Oh. Uh, John, everyone, John D made 35 cents in DM. All right, listen, let's give him a round of applause. Bunch of people just made money on it. Way to go. All right, guys, good luck today. Happy trading and uh, see you at 12, see you in class. So you got class, you got open house, and then you got the 2.30 meeting in class again. Busy day. Remember, you have to learn before you can earn. That's where your time needs to be spent. This is only an hour job. Good luck, everyone.